Aloha. Are you are you Hawaii based? Chismere. No. <laughs> it's like what? 4 a.m. a.m. <laughs> Man. I would not want to be a Hawaiian trader. Those hours, oh my god. Those hours are brutal. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Let's see here. Let's start. Uh, everything is gapping up. Everything in my portfolio is gapping higher. I have no shorts, so that's good. Or actually, I do have one short. I have DraftKings, a small position, but this thing is really building lower highs. It looks like shit. All right, I sold a lot of things pre-market. NIO is a big trade from uh, Friday or Thursday. Uh, this thing broke out midday on record volume. They had they guided higher. The stock was surfing the rising 20-day. Unfortunately, I missed the 740, 750 entry. Uh, but I, I took a shot. Uh, I bought it 920. My risk was like, I don't know, 30, 40 cents. And uh, now it's uh, this thing hit high 11s pre market. <laughs> oh, this is, it's a runaway market we are in. I, I generally don't buy extended stocks like these, but it's the market we are in. You have to adapt sometimes. Everything is just going straight up, it's unbelievable. I sold all a little bit of everything. I sold some NIO, BLDP, PDD, Beely, Tesla. SC is capping high. I haven't sold any of this uh, pre-market yet uh, because I have such a small position. Left. Uh, yeah, everything is capping higher. Amazing market. It's just an auto autopilot market. Unbelievable. All right, then. Yeah, it's an amazing market. Best I've seen. Let's see here. VIR looks like it's gapping down fast. Oh, fastly scapping down. What? Really? This thing is scapping down with everything else scapping up? That's a sign of weakness. Workhorse. I'm tempted to short this thing, but I, I honestly don't know. There's a bunch of things I'm watching for potential shorts. I, I just don't want to short anything. I don't want any headaches. Nicola had a big trade on Friday. On not, on not a lot of shares. I'm thinking about shorting this thing today also. SSR is on, that's annoying. But I'm thinking opening range lows. This thing could go to sub 50 today. The warrants are now available. The warrant holders are able to exercise today <clears throat> mark is capping up even mark is capping up Workhorse, so a bit tempted. Mm. 
maybe mark they have earnings okay after the bell all right thanks uh, let's see here mark setup looks decent but you never know what happens on there wait are you sure twin uh Mark. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're correct. They have earnings, yep. DraftKings setting up for what? What is DraftKings setting up for? Long or short? Easy to borrow. Nope, it's not. Oh, I can't short workhorse in any of my accounts. Okay, that makes my job easier. I can just take it off my watch list. Great. Uh, let's see, DraftKings um, setting up for what? Um, it could have, it could be setting up for another leg lower potentially, or maybe a leg leg higher. I can't right now. I I don't I don't see it. It could go either way. WTRH. Mm. Oh, it's uh, the delivery type. Yeah, it looks good, but uh, yeah, yeah. At the, the, the entry was here in the 250s 250s was the swing entry when it came out of this range now it's just chasing oh shit markets are opening okay um i'm not really watching anything close out of the gate to be honest there is nothing i'm watching closely out of the gate Patience is important right now. I just don't see anything super crazy. Maybe I'll do some Nicola. Um, we'll see. Yeah, Apron, yeah, exactly. WTRH and Apron are both food delivery names. trying to get some Nicola short but this thing has SSR on I, I can't get any fields on it into the weakness it's too hard I'm not getting any fields oh my god now we have alert fest going off at the gate Okay, I, I got filled 10,000 uh, DraftKings. I don't want to chase any anymore. Fastly is weak. I 
I'm shorting, I shorted 20,000 shares of Fastly. It's showing relative weakness. I didn't get filled on all of shares so fastly yet, but I'm getting there. It could bounce hard off the rising 10 day, but we'll, we'll see. LMND is another one I'm watching for a potential short. Nikola is working nicely off the opening range lows. Again, I think Nikola could go to low 50s today. This room is looking good. If your stock is not up today, you should consider selling it. Just saying. It's one of those days. If, you're, if your stock is not up, it's probably a piece of shit. Everything is up today. Like everything. Jesus Christ. We are in a red hot runaway market. You don't see these kinds of markets very often. Not every year. Like when you have a market that's already up a lot and it just keeps going. Fastly, it's probably gonna bounce here. 
But if it loses the 10 day, this thing could go to low, uh, high 60s very easily. Livongo is starting to break out here. I don't know if I want to chase a gap up day like this, but... Uh, hmm. I'll do 10,000. Whatever. I, I just did 10,000 Livongo. This thing, it looks exactly like PDD looked like couple of days ago or Beely looked like uh, four or five days ago this is what Livongo looks like it's gonna go to 90 in a flash or at least it feels like that at least it feels like that NIO yeah this thing is hopefully it can go to mid high teens over the next few sessions it's gonna it's setting up as a million dollar short or potential million dollar short Right now, I'm still long. Uh, I've sold a little bit pre-market. I should probably sell more. This thing is, it's, it's getting extended. It's a triple in a month or two months. I sold a tiny bit more. Okay, let's see, what do we have here? BE continues higher. Probably should sell a tiny bit of this one also. Raising a lot of stops here. I'm aggressively moving stop sire a lot of my swings. I don't give alerts. Please don't call it an alert. I don't give alert alerts. Yeah, thank you. Much better, much better. <laughs> Idea sounds much better. Holy shit, Nicola! I need to cover some more here. Damn. If it hadn't had a SSR on, I would have done twice the size. Yes, I'm in CS since uh, like a couple of months ago. 
Oh shit, fastly I'm gonna get stopped out. Well... No, I already got stopped. Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. What? How can I get... No, wait. Oh! Wow, I'm lucky. I accidentally put the stop a dollar higher. A dollar lower. <laughs> okay, so I'm out of Fastly, even though I really didn't get stopped out of it, but I did get stopped out of it. Um, another fat finger mistake, but whatever. I'm making a lot of fat finger mistakes near the open. Not a good thing. It's been too many of them the past few weeks. many of them all right I will reshort fastly if it starts weakening midday what's my target I don't have a target for NIO I have no idea let it do its thing. Trailer stops. We're in a runaway market. Things can run much f further than anyone thinks possible. Or they could reverse down at any moment. It's just impossible to know. I have no idea about any of those. Yeah, BLT, yeah, I'm so, oh, it's so sad I'm not in plug. I, I, I had a hundred thousand share doll, uh, share order ready here in the mid fours and I didn't, I didn't uh, execute. And now it's a 10 bucks, it's unbelievable. Oh God, at least I have BLDP, but man. All these EV plays are going crazy. Solo, NIO, FUV. Jesus Christ. What a momentum market. Semis are breaking out. Wow. Oh yeah, and also we do have BE, which is also a fuel cell play. So we do have BLDP and BE at least. I've covered about two thirds of Nicola so far. Or oh, not sorry, not sorry, two thirds, a third. I, I think uh, it hit, pretty much hit my first target, low 50s. Uh, maybe it can, you know, could go away even lower. You need to develop cell rules. I, I can't tell you. If you want to hold, hold. You need to go develop cell rules. You can't trade blind. You're not gonna last in this game if you trade blind. Uh, if I would short OBCI, uh, no. This thing doesn't even trade. 
it's impossible to short it. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm just going back in chat and see what I missed. Uh, isn't the flag in PRTS suspicious? It is. It looks like a buyout, maybe, or I don't know. It looks, yeah, it looks almost too perfect. But if it breaks out, could very easily go to low teens or something. Yeah, the locates on Nickel are insanely expensive. I I, I bought I located ten thousand shares today. It cost me like six seven thousand. Damn this mark! Shit, it's gonna go. Oh, uh, or is it? I don't know. I don't care. They have earnings after hours. I bought 50,000 shares, I chased a little bit. I don't give a shit. Let them have earnings after hours. They don't have any earnings anyway, so... Won't, won't make a difference. <coughs> LMND, I'm watching for a short... This thing priced at 29 bucks, so it's almost the triple from the pricing. Wow, NIO. Jesus Christ. And now Fastly is gonna go lower, it feels like. I don't know. Oh shit, El Vongo, I didn't even see this move. Wow, uh, okay, time to sell some, I guess. Gonna sell some of my ads on Livongo. I added 10,000 shares, 75.92s. And I'm long 15,000 shares since earlier. What a market, what a market. ZS looks good. Looks like a decent breakout. But I have I have enough exposure. I, I just don't want to do any more exposure here. Yeah, see us absolutely. I'm lowering my stop on DraftKings. What an epic market. All I can say, what an epic market. Wait, is this solo up for... Oh. Square is straight up. I guess Square was a good buy here. <laughs> 107 area. Sometimes it's easy to underestimate a runaway market. And Nio, when it took out the highs, opening range highs, 920 midday on Thursday. That's my entry.
Oh, AYRO woke up. This thing has insane volume. It's an EV pump. I just bought the 100,000 shares of this thing. <laughs> oh man, let's go. Risk is gonna be, I'm gonna risk 40 grand on this name. Uh, wait, uh, I chased it a little bit, but whatever. This thing could go to 10 bucks by tomorrow. Oh, already taking out ties for the day. Holy shit. I should have bought 200,000 shares. Oh. Whatever. IQ, uh, uh, I don't know, I don't know, could maybe, And now we wait. Now we wait. I am still stalking fastly for our eventual reshort. It's showing big relative weakness. Marky Mark, yep, that's right. Marky Mark. NIO, I'm gonna move my stop to the lows of the day. I don't wanna give back any profits on this thing. Ideally, it keeps going to mid high uh, teens over the next few days, but you never know when these things reverse. When these things reverse, they reverse hard. So I, I just want to protect profits. But right now, everything is going straight up. Incredible. Uh, Tesla stop is uh, right now. I'm trailing the 10 day on Tesla. Trailing the 10 day. But uh, at some point, especially if it keeps going, I'm gonna move it aggressively. Because when you get like straight up moves like these, especially on a stock that's already extended, you know, using the 10 and 20 day stops are too, you know, by the time it gets there, it's given back most of its move. So soon I'm gonna move it more aggressively. Maybe use the 20 EMA or 10 EMA on the 60 minute chart 
if it keeps going straight up. Because if you get a parabolic move, it's all about aggressively pro uh, protecting profits. You can't sit there and hope the thing will go up forever, because they never do. They never go up forever. It ain't that easy. Wow, LMND is going crazy parabolic. This thing is now a triple from the pricing on Thursday. Price to 29, and it's a, oh my god. LMND is going absolutely nuts. I'm watching for a short entry on this thing. I'm gonna try to short it. Yeah, Bra uh, yeah, uh, Biotechs look like they want to take another leg higher, absolutely. Oh, AYRO -A -A finally went, I see. Heck, this thing could go be 10 bucks by tomorrow in this market. <laughs> You can just take any stock, put put the price target 20-50% higher. That's where we are in the markets right now. A lot of geniuses are minted daily. And it is easy right now. Never seen this easy trading environment in my life. But you also have to be aware, it could end at any moment. Especially if you're on margin long, like I am, you know, you, you really gotta sleep with one, one eye open. Because these environments are the most dangerous. Like when, you know, when the things go straight up and just keep going higher. But they can also be the most profitable, so it's a balanced thing. Yeah, everything keeps going. Absolutely everything is going higher. Except for some... Like NVAX, I was looking for a short. Taking it off fastly. Fastly is weak. Fastly is building lower highs intraday. Maybe I'll reshort it later. Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> Shit, I'm tired. Mm. 
I've had a long day already. I'm not looking to do a lot more today. I'm just trailing my trailing my stops. Yeah. Absolutely. Just trail your stops. And w the things that, you know, are about to go parabolic like NIO, you know, those ones you got to move your stops up more aggressively. Maybe use the 10 or 20 EMA on the 60 minute chart instead of the 10 20 day moving averages. You know what? I'm gonna sell a tiny bit of AYRO because why not? Straight up from entry. Mark, I should probably add to this thing. Yeah. Fuck it. Fuck it. I just bought another 50k shares of Mark. <laughs> Why the fuck not? This PLDP. I'm thinking about using the 20 EMA on the 60 minute chart as my trailing stop. It's a little bit more of an aggressive, uh, because if it would fade back to the 10 day, it would give back a lot of the move. I don't want to. So I really want to move my stops aggressively. Tesla, same thing here. The 20 EMA is going to be my stop barrier. These things are just going straight up. And I don't think the 10, 20 day are the appropriate stops for those. Is Tesla just a money printer at this point? Tesla has been money printer for many years, both long and short. It's the best trading stock I've ever seen. Wait, AYRO, does it have a 4 million float? This thing is gonna go to 50. I I'm cancelling my sell order. No, I got filled on my sell order. Fuck. Whatever. It's gonna go to a 50. Let's do it. Come in. Get. Let's get all the Robin, Robin Hooders on this thing. They're probably already in it. Element D. Uh, ah, shit, I missed my entry on Element D. Oh, whatever. PDD. Mm, whatever. It's probably, it's just taking a breather. Do, 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 do.
16 million shares? Okay. Hmm. Someone said it at 4 million. I have to check a few of my sources too. Uh, Marketsmith says they have a 200,000 shares in the float. Well, that's not... They did a really split too. No, 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 that's not correct. Let's see how much. Uh... Every every place shows a different number. Yeah, every place shows a different. Yeah, I see 1.83 at one place, 200,000 in another place. Someone on Twitter said they had 4 million float, you know, whatever. <laughs> It probably doesn't have a high float. Like, it's probably a lot less than the 42 million shares it's already traded today. So it, it's probably traded a couple of times its float, no matter what. That's all that matters. Yeah, I mean, yeah, exactly. Everyone sees that. I mean, that's weird. You know it's a sketchy stock. <laughs> this thing is pumped. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, this is all drop car. Oh, yeah, this has been pumped multiple times over the years. I, I've already I traded it a couple of times over the years. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 2018, 2017 was pumped. 2019 it was pumped, and now it's getting pumped again. Yeah, okay. Let this thing get to 50. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What a crazy, crazy swing trading market. Wow. Unbelievable. I'm about 140% um, net long coming into today. So that's why I'm moving my stops aggressively because I know we are getting to a point where they could pull the rug brutally. Brutally. Yeah, Fastly is um, he's weakening. Damn, like this fat finger, man. Not happy. No, uh, Nicola. Uh, yeah, I covered a, a bunch of Nicola. I also have a DraftKings, a tiny position from last week. But my shorts are tiny, tiny positions. They're like literally a few percent of my total equity. Uh, workhorse, I couldn't get any shares. And of course, it's going lower. Yeah, great. I couldn't get a locate on it. IB has it? Really? Hmm. Well, I'm too lazy to log into IP, IB now. I was logged in there like 15 minutes ago, but I closed the window and I'm just... Whatever. I'm getting super lazy. Holy shit, this thing is going straight up. I need to steal some more Livongo. This thing is straight up. I've sold 20% of, uh, of my ads this AM. I'm, I'm up like 6% of those ads, 7%. So I sold 20% of just of the ads, not my overall position. Yeah, today was the day. Yeah, my ads were a high 75s. 
This thing could easily go to 90. It looks exactly like PDD and Beely did uh, last week. Or Square for that matter. It looks like looks exactly like Square looked like last week. Or very similar. Wow, scary. Square is going to be a great short. I'm going to start watching Square from tomorrow. Tomorrow on. Hopefully it can go to 140, 150. It is getting a bit extended here. I am going to watch this thing. Holy shit, Zoom. Funny thing about Zoom is I sized down on it late day and Thursday because it closed weak. I sold half. It's not a traditional setup I trade. It's getting a little, you know, it's not a great setup, but the, I just saw the demand in it. Like, they can't dip this thing. You know, an extended stock just cannot dip. You know, there is something going on. That's what I saw. But yeah, I, I got shaken out late day on Thursday. And now it's straight up from there. I think 300. It's going to go easy to 300. Holy shit, Livongo. Vix. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. The warning flags are there, absolutely. There's several warning flags. Um, doesn't mean we're going to go down yet, but absolutely. It's good to have... Um, at least be aware of the warning signs. Ideally, we go straight up for another couple of days. And get some really, really good shorts. Get you know, sell sell a bunch of stuff into like parabolic moves, and then get a bunch of shorts off into parabolics. Oh, Mark is going down. How disappointing. No, I'm not in save. Absolutely not in save. 
I got stopped out day one. <laughs> All the airlines look like they want to break lower. They all look like shit. If it's possible to swing to 10, 11k, yeah, absolutely. It's gonna be slower than day trading, but... But sure, you can day trade with 10, 11, oh, swing trade with 10, 11k. Shorted square, okay. Nicola looks like he wants to go to sub 50. Ideal short entry on LM and D, 150. Oh, I got uh, stopped in on Fastly. I, I shorted 24,000 shares of Fastly. Let's see if we can get going here. Where should I... What the fuck is this? What the hell is this? This is not what I wanted. What the hell is this indicator? What the... Uh, this is what I wanted. Okay, let's see. What's my average? Okay, I'm going to risk on 50k on this reshort. Or actually, wait. Uh, three, yeah. Ideal short for LMND is going to be tomorrow or late day, mid late day. Ideal would be tomorrow. I think Fastly has potentially 15, easily 15% 15 of downside from here. And if it loses the 20 day 2, you know, there's no support until like 51 bucks. That's 36% lower. Yeah, I, I don't care. It, it's it, it, when when a stock is in in a range, you want to see lower volume. You had some bigger volume out of the gate, then it went sideways for a while with on lower volume. That's what you want to see. And it's been building lower highs. That's a good thing. Those lower volume. That's a good thing. You always want to see lower volume in a consolidation.
<laughs> Wait, I didn't tweet my uh, stream. That's why where, where, where there's so little few people here. That explains it. That explains it. Let it drop. Only my biggest fans, yeah. Yeah, it undercut VWAP. My risk is 40k on this AYRO. Or 50k, I don't even remember. Lake. <laughs> yeah. It's a mask theme stock, no volume. The whole sec. Well, APT is looking better. NBI, HPI. Yeah, the whole sector is kind of sluggish. You would think the mask plays would uh, should wake up, but they haven't really. Super disappointing. But I'm watching all of the four. APT, I'm not gonna add to. But yeah, Lake, AHP, and uh, NBI. I'm watching all of those. <laughs> Yet? What yet? Dude guy. Yet what? Oh yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, they are pumping the EV place hard. Blink. Oh boy, yeah. Let these things go straight up. That's good. If they can go up another two, three days in a row, or you know, one, two days. Some good short setups developing. <sighs> Workhorse so far. It's finding finding support on a rising 20 EMA. Yeah, it wouldn't be surprise. It wouldn't surprise me if they come back to the mask stocks at least. There's a lot of talk about masks now. About three months too late, but you know, better late than never.
You can just send a PM here on Twitch. Which show? 12. Just send a DM on Twitch, uh, here on Twitch. Yes, they all look good right now. All the growth stocks look good. But the problem is most of them had entries last week and two weeks ago. That's the problem. Billy? Oh wow, yeah, what's PDD doing? Okay. That ain't great. K web, uh, yeah. Mm, exactly. Just chase anything, it will double. <coughs> All right, I'm gonna go through scans and positions one more time, then I'm gonna cut the stream. Do, do, do. Yeah, pretty much autopilot mode right now. Wow, this thing looks like it could be a nice short setting up. IAC, I'm gonna start watching this thing. A lot of shorts are starting to set up for later this week. A lot of stocks that are straight up. Too bad I didn't buy Soxel on this day when it broke out in the 180s. How you can send a tw uh, DM? Uh, you can just whisper to me. Just uh, click my name and you can just send a whisper. I'll send a whisper to you. And then you can just reply with your 12. What has entries now? Nothing. Nothing has entries now. I don't see anything setting up on the long side. There are, it's just the short setups that are developing for later this week. Exactly, whisper to the short whisperer. I'm not really the short whisperer, I'm the short listener. There's a difference. A whisperer can't shut the fuck up. A listener listens. That's if you want to make millions in trading, you have to learn to listen. It really is that easy. Lol, you do speak non-stop, yes, because I'm giving people what they want. I'm s if I wouldn't say anything, no one would be on my stream. 
and I would have no friends. You're the only friends I have, so I have to talk. <laughs> oh, CS is going straight up. Mm -hmm. Fuck level 2. L level 2 is a waste of time. Level 2, the guys that want these, you know, the scalp for 10, 20 cents on small cap stocks, those are the guys that want, that use level 2. It's such a, such a waste of time. If you want to make millions, you don't even know, have to know what the hell level 2 is. It, it's a total waste of time. Because, you see, guys, you have to understand, those guys, they sell services, okay? They sell complexity. They create an illusion that trading is super hard, which it is, but it doesn't have to be complicated, okay? Trading, you can, you can make millions per year by, by doing very simple stuff, depending on how big your account is, obviously. I'm not selling anything, you know, I'm not selling complexity. So I don't really give a shit. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Why did you enter? Well, I saw it on the level 2. Why did you exit? I saw it on the level 2. <laughs> uh. What you need to do is learn the patterns. That's what all you need to do. You don't need level 2 to see the patterns on the 5 minute or the 60 minute or the daily chart. I see the I say this on every stream. I'm I'm going to say this one too. You need to go back, look at thousands of stocks, okay? Go back 20, 30 years on thousands of stocks. Just look at the patterns. You're going to develop three to five setup ideas where you have an edge. Setups that, that occur over and over again. Every market cycle, every year. You don't need level two. You don't need a guru. All you need is to do some hard work. If I open an Airbnb, I make might make a lot of friends. <laughs> really? How? Isn't the BMW salesman your friend? He's my best friend. The BMW salesman is my best friend. As a rule of thumb, if you want to have friends, you have to be nice. Fuck you, Shad86. Fuck you. I'm not going to be nice. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, I agree. Level 2 can be useful on, on OTC, but OTCs are dead. OTCs have been dead for years. 2013, 2014, there was a lot of activity. Like, since that, there hasn't been a lot of activity. OTCs have been dead. With the exception of this GBTC that ran big when uh, uh, the cryptos ran back in 2017, 18. And 2019, it also had a run. I haven't really traded any OTCs. It's a dead game. Exactly, it's in the filings. <laughs> I'm trading level 3, that's why I'm unbeatable. <laughs> Uh, I never understood what level 3 is. I've heard about it, but I, I never understood it. Like, I can barely... I, I get a headache looking at level 2. I guess my head would explode if I would look at a level 3. I don't even want to look at a level 3. <sighs> yeah, Hobbs. But the problem with Hobbs, it's a very slow name. It's like now and Zen. Like these large cap cloud names. They're just super slow movers. Mm. 
No, David, you are not my best friend. But David, you are my second favorite person in chat. I'm not gonna say who my favorite person is, but I just wanted you to know that you're my second favorite. Level four is where you make the real money. <laughs> Second is like two first places, exactly. Second is even better than first place. It's like two first places. Makes sense. Oh my god, see, yes. Okay, I need to sell some here. It's straight up. I'm selling a few CS here. Just a tiny bit. And here we are, 120. Here we are. Finally, we hit that 120 I've been talking about since we bought it. At the eight, in the 88s. And there was a chat room shorting this thing on the front side in the in the 90s i remember on the day one of the of, of the breakout oh boy all right uh let's see i went through let's i'm gonna go through my portfolio one more time okay ayro with 100 got vvap it held so far i'm moving my stop even higher it shouldn't under it shouldn't hit vvap one more time that would be a sign of weakness okay let's see here nio dipped a little bit finding some support again lows of the day is my stop on nio I really want this thing in a 14s, 15s by tomorrow, but we'll see. PLDP looks like it wants to go to 20 plus. Livongo, this thing wants to go to 90 plus. Well, just trim and trail. All I can say, sell t small pieces into strength and trail your stops. That's the market we are in right now. Again, it could the music could uh, stop at any moment, but it could also go on longer for longer than anyone believes is possible. That's why it's important to have uh, trailing stops. Oh, fastly! Ah, oh, it put in another higher low, and uh, now it's bouncing. I'm gonna take a nice fifty, sixty thousand dollars loss on this thing. Oh well, whatever. What? Billy's week. Did Billy have any news? That was a big reversal on Billy. Yeah, PDD looks fine. Uh, or actually, no, it's also selling. Yeah, well, are all the China stocks selling off? Not Baba, not Tencent. Why are PDD and Billy selling off like this? The key is to see if they can find support on these rising 20-day moving averages, 20 EMAs. Billy already undercut it, but we'll see. We will see. No, Sweden, not Finland. Sweden. On short entries, look, all the stocks I trade are very liquid. That's all that that's all that matters. NCLH, what about the NCLH? I'm long this thing, but it looks like it's about, about to uh, lose the rising 50. All the cruise lines and airlines are super weak right now. They, they, these things could all go down another 50% from here. All of them. AAL looks vulnerable. Man, I should probably start um, 
stalking some of these for sh for short. They look incredibly vulnerable here, especially AAL. <sighs> Yes, I have tried sewage drumming. I have. PDD and Beely. Yeah, Beely has some big volume. There, there has to be some news on this thing. Holy shit, this... There's definitely news on this Beely. I need to figure out what it is. No, no way there's no news on this. With the volume and everything. I don't know. Let's see if I can uh, fi find support on the rising 10 days slash the rising 65 EMA on the 60 minute chart. That's all that matters. I always set stops on the first on the breakout day, on the day I enter. AYRO. Oh, nice, nice reversal. Yeah, undercut the VWAP and uh, built a higher low, and now it's at new highs. I think this thing could go to 10 by tomorrow, really. Yeah, I said, I saw that, yeah. That's good news for China stocks. I guess. I only trade American stocks.
Yeah, Workhorse is bouncing off the Rising 20 EMA so far. They have a forward-looking event next week, if I remember correctly. This thing, could they could hold it up really well. Till then, I don't know. I couldn't get any shares to short, so... I can't do much with it anyways. Uh, NVAX? Uh, yeah, it's put building another higher low here. You know, right now it's not a short, not a long. But it is setting up for it later this week. Maybe, yeah, it's, it's you know, when you have an extended start that go, can't go down, that's always a... Good sign. Okay, pretty much. I'm having two conversations on Twitch. It's all boils down to, okay? Every question pretty much I answer with. Because I'm not an alert service. I don't give a shit. I'm not here to scalp my followers. Everyone's need to do, If you haven't done this yet, if you're struggling, if you're not getting the results you're not you want, you get the EC2000, okay? Click US stocks, okay? There's 49.63, almost 5,000 stocks here, okay? Then you go to the monthly chart, and then you start looking at all the big moves. Every stock that made a big move, let's say it doubled or tripled or in a short amount of time, okay? You put in a separate watch list, okay? You're gonna get a watch list of 1,000 stocks. Just go back and look. You know, there's going to be a thousands of, you know, at least a thousand stocks because most stocks have made a big move at least sometime during uh, their lifetime. Okay, you go back and look. The biggest moves, obviously, the very liquid ones you can exclude. And then you go through that watch list. Look at the daily charts. Um, you can get E signal on that one. You can go back on the daily charts. Look at daily charts and even intraday charts going back 10, 20 years, 30 years. Maybe not 30, but at least 25 years. And then you start looking for, for patterns, okay? And you will see the exact same setups I trade. They happen over and over and over again. And you're probably going to find your own setups. You're, you're probably going to find at least three to five setups that occur over and over and over again. Three to five patterns, okay? You need to build a foundation. You can't just trade blindly, not knowing, you know, following some other trader, you know, being in these alert services. No. You need to develop your own expertise. You need to develop your own setups, things you believe in, things you have backtested that you know they work. That's pretty much all your problems stem from not knowing what the hell you're doing. All the ones who are struggling trading or don't have the results you want to have. You need to do you need to spend at least a thousand hours doing that study. Okay? If you do it three hours per day, it's gonna take you a year, okay? And you will have a skill for life. You will have a skill for life. You only need to do it once. And you don't you and you probably won't have to work a day in your life. But you need to do this. Okay.
Yeah, all you can use bar charts as hype stock trading says instead of e-signal. E-signal costs a bunch of money. Bar charts, I think, is for free. <clears throat> yeah, I know. R right? Exactly. You're struggling because you don't know what to do. My job is not to give you fish. My job is to teach you how to fish. Eat that. I'm like Jesus. You need to... Exactly, Swedish fish. We don't have Swedish fish in Sweden. That's an American thing. There is no such thing as Swedish fish. The candy doesn't exist in Sweden. Do you get fun from sharing your ideas, knowledge? Of course. Oh, fastly, I got stopped out again. I took a $61,000 loss on this thing, whatever. Piece of shit. This th nothing goes down right now. <laughs> All the momentum stocks go straight up. Well, at least I'm up 100k on AYRO, so that pays for my fastly sh fail fastly short. Okay, Beely, uh, it really needs to start fi <laughs> finding some support here. It really needs to do that. Lower my stop a little bit on the ads. Let's see, PDD and Beely. Okay, B PDD is already bouncing. It undercut the rising 20 EMA on the 60 minute chart, and now it's bouncing. So that's good. Now I just want Beely to bounce too. And also, guys, I also want to make another point, okay? The past three months has been the best trading market in at least 20 years. Or, or I mean 20 years, okay? It's, the best, it's been the best swing trading market. It's also been the best uh, day trading market, okay? I know some people have been day trading for 15 years, and they say it's the best market they've seen. And I've been swing trading for, well, I've been trading for nine years, swing trading for like seven. And it's the best swing trading market I've seen. If you are struggling in this market, you should stop trading right now. Okay. And you should spend that thousand hours studying how stocks actually move and what they move on. I'm, I'm telling you guys, there are no shortcuts. This has been a very easy trading market. Exactly. Listen to the old man. Hey, who the fuck are you calling old? David, no. I'm not old. I'm, I'm a young man. I'm in my best years. I'm, I'm almost able to grow a full mustache. I have like the worst beard growth ever. 53? You're not that old. 53. Hey, nowadays people live to like 90. Do you know that if, if you are 65 today, you have a 50% chance to hit 90? That's pretty amazing. Wait until you're 53. Okay, I know. He's mature. <laughs> He's mature. He's a wise man. Wait, the Swedish company made Swedish fish for the US? Wait, really? Which one? Swedish fish. I need to Google that. Which company makes Swedish fish? Uh, 
let's see. Ah, Malaco. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Wow, I didn't know. It's kind of funny we don't have it in... <laughs> I never tasted this. Swedish fish. But I've seen on the shore, uh, uh, these on the store shelves in the US. Kind of funny. And there's also this one, Svetka Vodka is apparently a Swedish <laughs> manufactured vodka, but it doesn't exist in Sweden. It even has a Swedish flag on it. I don't think it exists in Sweden, no. First time I saw it was in the US. Amazon hit 3,000? <laughs> wow! Amazon is almost a double in the past three months. Like, really? This thing has gained 700 billion in market cap in the past three months, three and a half months. 700 billion. The narrative that Robin Hooders are driving this market higher is that it's, it's just so stupid. It's like the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Like this is just one stock. There's no way Robin Hooders are pushing things higher. I've read it in several places. I've heard it in several places. It's just so dumb. If you put all the Robin Hooders assets together, I, I don't think it would even amount to 100 billion. And this thing is up 700 billion in market cap. This is just one stock. We have other stocks. Microsoft. This thing is probably also up five, six hundred billion. Three months. Not to mention Apple. Like, 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 ugh. Unbelievable. Svetka is horrible. It is. Absolute is great. Exactly, dude, average Robin Hooder, they probably can't afford more than one, one to three shares of Amazon. Yeah, exactly. A lot of people are, are, are very annoyed that a lot of Robin Hooders are making money. A lot of them are. A lot of them are killing it. Um, a lot of them have blown up. You know, just go to Reddit. There's a lot of horror stories there. There was even a guy who committed suicide because he thought he was... Uh, he had minus 700k in his account. It's very sad. But a lot of them are making a lot of bank. Exactly like, exactly like in the late 90s. People became millionaires. They turned 10,000 accounts, $10,000 accounts into millions in a few years. And that's, that's where we are right now. And this thing, this could go on for a while. This, you know, it, <clears throat> this could go on. But most of them will lose most of their money eventually. Even the ones to, who make millions, uh, most of them will give it, most of it back, if not all of it. If history is any guide. If late 80s, late 90s, and late 60s are any, or in late 20s are any guide. We we do know that a lot of these gunslingers are gonna give most of, or all of it back. Dun 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 dun. But yeah, a lot of. <laughs> I like David Day Trader. Did you see the video he posted today? Where he's the king of Wall Street? <laughs> and everyone should bow to him? <laughs> it's so funny. 
He's, he's like the best entertainment out there right now. Do you guys see the video? Everyone should look at should watch this video. It's so funny. A lot of Wall Street people are getting so triggered by him. I fucking love it. Oy oy oy! AYRO, I need to sell another partial here. Jesus Christ! Oh, I was gonna cut the stream 30 minutes ago. I, I, I forgot about it. Some people wrote a bunch of questions to me and I had to had to answer. What's this cheese at? Uh, let's see here. Are you going to get sunbathed? No, because there is no sun. The weather has been shit for a week. I'm, I'm losing all my gains. My tan gains are going away. I'm getting depressed. It's like cloudy and raining every single day. It sucks. Maybe Thursday, Friday, there's some hope to getting... But it's gonna be cold. No, I don't want to freeze. It's bullshit. It's bullshit weather right now. We had great weather first uh, three weeks of June. It was perfect weather. And now it's just bullshit weather. This is like a classic Swedish summer. You get a little bit of rain, a lot of clouds, then you get a lot of rain, then you get a little bit of sun, but it's not very, you know, it's pretty chilly. You get a bunch of rain, you get a little bit of clouds, and then you get more rain, and maybe if you're lucky you will see the sun for five minutes, and then you get a bunch of clouds and maybe a little bit of sun, but never really, it's really warm. Don't move to Sweden. Once you hit the five, no, 500k is too little. No, 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 500k, you, you, there's no interest. You won't get any interest on five, no, no, no. Five, five, if you want to, like, live off, like, dividends and stuff like that, you need to have at least, you know, in the Western world, you, you probably need at least, at least, if you're single, okay, and you you keep your expenses down. You want to live off dividends or like uh, the returns of the market. You need at least a million, million and a half, at least. And that's probably too little too. You won't be able to do a lot of stuff with it. You you you'd have to live like an eremit. 500k, you won't get far. Especially, it depends on your age. Also, if you're like 50, yeah, sure, you can probably live off 500k. But if you're in your 20s or 30s, no. I'm the stock yeller. <laughs> uh, you have the same weather in Canada? Swedish girls are all models? Yes. Why don't you move there? It's the best place to live. The weather is not great, but the society is among the best in the world. Swedish summer the best? 
Well, they lied to you. <laughs> hey, risk exposure, no problem. Yeah, exactly. It depends on where you live. Yeah, it depends. Like, if you live in, like, on the countryside, uh, you know, in the Midwest, you probably don't need... You know, you, you're probably going to be fine with a million, but if you live, like, in a bigger city, like L.A. or New York or something, you probably need at least two, three million, at least. And th then you, you, you have to w live in, like, some of the shadier areas. <laughs> German society sucks? No, I don't think so. It does? They, they do suck in, in the way that they don't seem to be very digital, like people are, are using cash everywhere. Sweden is boring? Well, it depends on where you live and what you do. It doesn't have to be boring. very narrow-minded people, but it depends on where you live. I mean, you... you <laughs> Shiny Swishat. Cut your stream so I can go with... Dude, David, I want to go with too, but this... Fuckers, they won't stop talking. I have to answer to every single comment. Because I'm a nice person. Okay? And it never ends. I'm, I'm dying from hunger here. You're trying to hold on to the friends you got. Exactly. Like, you know, I, what, what, what don't I do for my friends? Since you're my only friends and yeah. Okay, bye David. No problem, Mucha12. Just ask questions. Whisper to me if you have any questions. Okay, yeah, I need to cut the stream. I'm, I'm dying here. Ugh. So fastly, let's see, it bounced perfectly off the rising 10 day. This is why these uh, moving averages are so powerful. Look at this. It just, it just keeps surfing the rising 10 and the 20 day. Holy shit! AYRO! This thing could get to 10 bucks today! What the hell is going on? I need to sell more. Oh my god! I'm up 200k on this thing! Like, obviously, I was kind of half choking when I, when I said this thing could hit 10 by tomorrow, and then later I said 50. But, uh, look, at this rate, <laughs> it's... Uh, actually possible <laughs> holy shit what a market unbelievable unbelievable market never seen anything like this You can if you do twelve hours of chat work a day, I get, you can be ready to trade in eighty three days. <laughs> yeah, look, I've been doing the exact same thing. You know, I've I've been studying charts going back historically for seven years. I've thousands of charts, and actually, I've been removing the more liquid ones that I that I made several years ago when I'm, when my like I probably removed a thousand hours of work from my Evernote database. 
like these shards filled with notes and uh, stuff like that. I just removed them because they were too liquid. It kind of hurts a little bit. When you know you have like a folder full of, you know, shards. And you spent like, say, 200 hours creating that folder. And now it's too liquid for me and I just, you know, deleted those things. <laughs> kind of hurts. Wow, this LMND looks like it wants to go to 100 plus. It's building higher lows intraday on the 5 minute chart. All right, now I really need to go and eat. Guys, thanks for joining. I hope you got value out of the stream. Uh, I'm gonna record it to YouTube. I'm gonna upload it to YouTube if you need to rewatch any parts. Uh, and yeah, see you tomorrow. Thanks for joining.